Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to pick some lemons and some lemonade fruit. Something you've probably never heard of before. So follow me and we're going to check it all out. Here we are, back again, after Kim's little uh, rosemary tree. It's just there if you want to have a look. There you go. How beautiful is that? It is beautiful. Right. <laughs> this is for Kim's first time as camera person, by the way. So <laughs> it, we'll see what it looks like. Anyway, we've got lemons. And Kim tells me that a lemon, this is, well, there's a lemon. This is called a Eureka lemon. Um, uh, it's got a dimply skin, not like a Maya lemon, which has a smooth skin. Uh, she says that these retail in the shops at the moment for 70 cents each, but these are organic uh, and a little bit bigger than your average lemon. So I think they're probably worth $1.50 each would be reasonable. So we'll pick off and see, and see how much money we've got here. Do you want them all, honey? Do you want them all? Um, if they, well, see if they, the right you know, that, yeah, get the right ones because there's still some, um, oh, there's lots growing. some green ones on there still. Yeah, yeah, I'm not picking green. Remember the lemon trees have spikes on them too. I know, don't you? prick yourself. Yeah. This tree is covered in bees here, this bush. Which one? It's rosemary. Well, get some close-ups. Bees. Yeah? Yep. Okay. Not until you actually stop for a second that you can hear all the humming going on. Spot the bees. So beautiful. Right, back to Gavin. <laughs> How you going there, honey? Oh, you see no, I can't see any yellow through the tree. Oh, hey, Mrs. Potts. Oh, did you enjoy that watermelon that I gave you yesterday? Yeah, I bet. You're looking for Mr. Gavin, aren't you? Eh? She has a voice. She says, hello, Mr. Gavin. How are you today, Mr. Gavin? Always makes Gavin laugh, because I'm a bit, nut a bit nutty. They probably can't hear you because the microphone's Back again, whole bowl of lemons. Ooh. Kimmy can see that, nice. Now just come over to the tree, and you'll see that next season's lemons oh. are already coming. Okay, I thought they were so Oh. Yeah, there's lots of them. It'll flower again. Uh, it's nearly spring, about three days from spring, so it'll flower again soon. All right, so I'm just washing them in the sink. One, two, three, four, Twenty-one lemons uh, at a cost of a dollar a lemon. It's about thirty bucks. Thirty dollars, dollar fifty. Yeah, there you go. So just wash them. Just make sure there's nothing. That's all you need. It's just a little bit of warm water. So what are you going to do with these then, Gavin? Well, funny you should say that, Kim. <laughs> Is that we're going to um, slice them up and freeze them? We'll use some. Well, I suppose the, the nice, cleaner skin ones in drinks and stuff like that but we'll slice them up freeze them uh and uh, preserve them for the summer for drinks and because they'll kind of make like an ice cube as well won't they in the yes there'll be a nice ice cube in the yeah, drink and a nice lemony flavor if you're into that sort of I stuff do. i am i know you are yeah right. yep. so kim wanted me to um cut them in thirds because she thought that uh quarters would be a little bit too big 
what I'm going to do with these is freeze them. I didn't know until the other day that you could actually freeze lemons. Very cool. So Kim saw them online, online shopping. Hopefully they don't add anything to them. I doubt they would, seeing it's essentially citric acid. I think that'll do. Put some in the bag, huh? Nice. There they are in the freezer. Bye, freezer. Oh, it's a fish. Follow me this way. So, past the Chucky's house, we've got lemonade fruit. Now, these are a cross between lemons and I think it's oranges. Uh, they're slightly sweeter than lemons. They're quite nice, citrusy tart, but a little bit of sweetness. So I'm gonna pick some of these for Kim as well um, before they go rotten on the tree. There's heaps there. I um, don't know what the cost of them are because I've never seen them in the shops. And this tree is always fully laden with them. Leave some on there because they 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 stay fresher when they're on the tree. You pick them, then you got to either freeze them or put them in the fridge. Nice big bowl of lemonade fruit, lovely. So Kim's just slicing up some um, of the lemonade fruit. Uh, she's going to freeze some of those in slices as well. Yeah, because these are just beautiful in really lovely cool glasses of water or if, if you've got a cordial or something like that yeah they're good for juicing too yeah they're full of juice so i don't put these ends in because there's too much pith on them but the great one and the good thing about slicing they just pop into a glass and i don't like pips floating in my drinks so these gosh there's not very many seeds seeds in these ones there's probably about three or four in each fruit yeah And then she goes up to number five. <laughs> nice. There we go, there's some lemonade slices. And Kim's gonna put those in the freezer in a minute. So we've got a, that's the lemon tree. Over there is the lime tree, which is just starting to flower now. So I need to pick some limes on the ground there. I think you can see, it's the chilli bushes. So I'll pick some of those up now and uh, we'll get those inside and I'll have some in some cervezas soon. That would be nice. Just, you know, in the top lime in the top of the bottle. Very nice. Not as many as I thought because I have been picking them during the winter. So we've got a few. I mean, they're Tahitian limes. So they go ripe, they turn that colour. And when they're just just before they're ripe, that's what you see in the stores, that colour there. But they have no seeds in them whatsoever, so they're really, really nice. Right, so that's our lime haul. Not many there, as you can see, but there's enough. They'll be good for drinks. There'll be some more growing soon. As you saw, there were some flowers on the bush, so. Oh, on the tree, not a bush. Uh, so that'll be fine. So that's small enough to go down the cerveza? Yeah. Yeah, cool. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, you're gonna freeze them too? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, so they're the, they're the limes, ladies and gentlemen. Kim says don't film, but I did anyway. Notice I didn't they haven't, know, they haven't didn't got any... There you go, there's, not, there's no seeds in it, in the limes, you'll notice, in the Tahitian limes anyway, which is fantastic, that's why we don't... Um, uh, don't hesitate at putting them in the neck of bottles of drinks. So. Oh, I do take it's a Mexican beer, isn't it? Yeah, cerveza. Yeah. You know, like Corona and not coronavirus, but Corona beer. <laughs> anyway, 
Anyway, that's Kim slicing limes. Very exciting stuff here on the vlog channel today. Very nice. Yeah? Yeah. Well, we've never done this before with uh, fruit, so. Yeah, it's good. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There's my garden with the fruit trees. Those uh, citrus trees I planted in 2007. So they're 13 years old, still fruiting, which is fantastic. They're in pots, um, as you can see, big pots there. Uh, next to Mrs. Potts, who's still whinging over there. Um, but uh, yeah, and they, they're fine. I top them up, a little bit of topsoil every year, put some fertilizer, scatter some blood and bone fertilizer around, and they really do grow great. Uh, it's nearly time, probably next weekend, I'll put some more fertilizer in there uh, and put a little bit more topsoil, and that'll help feed them because citrus trees are uh, surface root feeders. So a little bit of fertilizer there not too much because it'll burn their roots so just be careful and yeah you get a nice crop and the the trees are looking really healthy so I do have one tree that doesn't really fruit that much this one here it's a mandarin tree uh, I think we've had mandarins on it three times uh, so not the best plus we've got a couple of other citrus trees here these are blood oranges uh, that one and that one there uh, they need a little bit of TLC, a bit of water. You're starting to get the tips going a little bit yellow, but I watered them the other day, but yeah, they need a little bit more attention. But yeah, they're there as well. So lots and lots of citrus. We love it here in drinks. So we'll be planting out the uh, spring garden in probably two or three weeks time. We're trying to get some seeds, but because of lockdown here in Victoria, we found that just about every seed shop um, Everything's closed, all the nurseries are closed. There are some mail order seed companies, so we're going to try and track down some um, some seeds there. So we'll see how we go and uh, get growing some seedlings or plant some direct in the ground. Depends on what plant they are. Anyway, that can be the subject of another vlog. All right, thanks for watching today um, on our lemon and lemonade picking and lime picking escapades uh, and show you how we store those for the summer. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you next time.